Hey guys, this is Unpunk bringing you an awesome video here today. What this is going to be is how you unlock the new Necromancer character, I believe is how you say him in the Shadowed Throne. So it's a fieldwork category and it's gonna be going through all of our challenges here. So I obviously don't have this second one here as it's random luck from the treasure zombies. But before I get into it, I'm gonna leave a link down in the description to the gentleman that's letting me use some footage here at the end, as well as the first person to unlock him and post footage about it. His name is Fudge the Ticks, I believe is how you say it. I do apologize if I butchered that at all, but thank you very much for allowing me to use your footage and make sure to go subscribe to him, guys. He is posting content as well about this, so that way you guys can see all of this and get this He's got some great, great stuff. The first one is from the Treasure Zombie, so it's random to get all three of these. It's called Useful Contraption, Reclaimed an Old Hobby Project, and Where Did I Leave That Damned Thing? The next one is We Cannot Continue Without My Tools. I didn't obviously have the description. And the last one is With This, My Designs Will Know No Limit, and it says Requires Batteries. All three of those obviously are Treasure Zombies, so you're just going to have to get them at random. Push into the boss fight. During the boss fight, or after you've killed Straub, he can spawn every 1 hour and 45 minutes, to my knowledge. After you have already gotten your first one, I believe he spawns every 1 hour and 45 minutes. So if you were to run around and play the game for hours and hours on end, you could get him every 1 hour and 45 minutes. But I would just keep grinding that boss, doing that Easter egg. You can do it in the 50 minutes or so most times, and just doing it to get the treasure zombie. And if you don't get the treasure zombie before or after you kill the boss, just go back down to the regular map and wait, you'll get it. The next challenge is dirty work, hands on experience, and establish an organ donation facility. We believe this is getting a certain number of total kills in the museum without leaving with all being melee kills. We used the blade, we started on wave 9 and got the challenge complete on wave 33. So it wasn't quite 25 waves, but a lot of people are getting it by spending 25 waves in the museum using only melees. It has been confirmed to be using, you can use shovels, you can use perks, you can use mod specials and consumables, as well as you can go down so it doesn't seem to have a lot of limitations, which is really nice, so it's just melee kills. I recommend getting the melee perk, and if you want to make your life easier, use the blade and camp by the M1 Garand, I believe is the wall by that is where right on the top story of the museum. Just camped there with two, three, four players. It took us about an hour and 50 minutes to do the entire challenge, camping there and pushing and doing the blade. You could do it with the smuggler's bat, I'm sure just as easy, as well as you could also do it with the knife or the ax, but you'd have to train around and be a little bit more difficult but it might not be as boring. Our strat was very, very boring, but that's how you get the Dirty Works kills, or the Dirty Work challenge. It's not a very hard challenge to do, so I know you guys can all go out there and rock it out and get this new character. And in just a second here, I'm gonna show you guys what the character looks like, but I wanted to make sure you know all of these challenges. The next one is Tech Savvy. It is play the field and exterminate the threat with planning and execution. I previously made a guide on this and there's been some new information since, so I wanted to cover it. So what we did in our game is we went about one and a half rounds, only using traps and using all three with three players. So I recommend having three or four players in your game and just alternate using all three traps. Get a whole bunch of kills or I'll activate them all at once. I believe it is 100 to 150 kills is what most people have been saying. Obviously we can't verify exactly how many because we don't have the full hints as it gives us just these little teasers even after it's unlocked, which is a little bit disappointing. But that's how you're gonna get the tech savvy unlocked. Just go a few rounds using only traps. I started a wave 21. You can do it earlier if you want and just keep pushing rounds until you get it. So keep on going and that will unlock pretty, pretty quickly and pretty easily. It's not an extremely hard challenge to do. I really just did it my second time attempting it. So don't trip out too much if you guys aren't getting it right away or after a round and a half like I did or anything like that. And here we go is what the character looks like, the Necromancer character. Big shout out again to Fudge the Ticks for giving me this fudge and allowing me to use this. As well as my buddy Weirdo29, he um, gave me the image for the screenshot here on the video. If you guys did enjoy this video and it helped you out to unlock this character, drop a like and subscribe if you guys are new. Got some great content here for Fortnite and Call of Duty on the channel and some other games we play on streams sometimes. And we're gonna get out of here now, but we'll see you real soon. Peace.